Uh, before I start my talk, may I ask how many of you um, have had headache? Could you put your hand up? Oh, quite a lot. More than, more than 50%, isn't it? So this is the pictures of my patient, my real patients. The patients that I have seen every day in the hospital, they come to see me in the hospital and ask me, what's wrong with my head? What's wrong with my head? Could you treat me my headache, please? Could you scan my, my, uh, my brain, please? What's wrong with my head? And I said, oh, this is very common, very common situation in the hospital. This is not because of I'm um, headache specialist. This is not because of I'm um, headache doctors. Sorry. World Health Organization's last two years, they survey worldwide populations who suffer from other kind of the medical illness around the world. And what they found is that three out of 10 people surrounding you suffer from any kind of headache, mostly from migraine, and other from the tension headache from stress. The migraine, you know migraine? Migraine is unilateral side, one side headache, terrible headache. You may have severe headache, loss from work, cause lot from work, and also have nausea and vomiting, and very really sensitive to the other kind of the stimuli. I mean, the environmental stimuli like the photophobia, fear the bright light, fear loud noise, anything. To understand more about headache or pain, we have to fight the problem. We have to understand the mechanism of the problem. These nice pictures wrote by um, Lenny Descartes, demonstrate that pain is nothing, but pain is just, just the protective system of our body. It could be like a fire like this, it could be like an injury, it could be like a trauma, it could be like a cancer in your body. Pain is nothing, it's just responsive to, it's response of your body to the, any kind of stimuli. And after, after that, after the stimuli triggers the, the nerve fibers, the nerve will send the signal into the brain. The brain, we have the pain center. The pain centers, it's like a center and spread out, send the signal to other part of the brain. And after that, other part of the brain, we control the motor system. We can withdraw from fire, we can withdraw from the stimuli, and also we can express some behaviors like depression, like anxiety, to tell other ones surrounding you that, oh, now I'm having pain, now I have depression, now I have anxiety, please come to help me, please. Can be any kind of stimuli. But the stimuli of migraine is not just that. It's not like physical stimuli like this. But this is a stimuli of migraine, common stimuli of migraine. Stressful life, things are stimulant, like a lot of coffee, it could be like wine. Last night, I drank some wine. I got a headache. Sleep late at night. Hot weather. Here, Bangkok, Chiang Mai as well. Hot weather, global warming. And also big building. Just step outside. This building, we saw a lot of building. Stressful. Belly. <laughs> Obesity. Let's exercise. We just work in the office. Let's exercise. Exercise is, we have to do much more, you know, but living in the office, very easy. And also the traffic jam. Chiang Mai right now have a much more traffic jam and increasing every year. All of these things is a stimuli because of a fast changing environment. Because of actually human, our brain and our body have been adapted to nature for billions, millions of years. But for just a thousand of years, changing environments a lot, and our body cannot adjust itself to the environment. That's why we got headache, we got migraine. 
This is just the response to the stimuli. Let's see this nice picture. This is the brain imaging of the migraine brain. When our brain exposed to the stimuli, the brain will have like a spot, shining spot like this, everywhere in the brain. We call the brain hyper excitability or hypersensitivity of the brain to the stimuli. When we got stimuli, the brain we got hyper excitability. When we still exposed to, to the stimuli, we have much more hyper excitable. Stimuli hyper excitable. One time, if for a long time, we cannot avoid the stimuli. And after that, our brain change itself. That's what we call the brain plastic city. The brain change itself to the new setting. And after that, we can have pain without other, without other kind of the stimuli. This is we can become chronic pain or chronic migraine. This situation is worse. Migraine is worse, but chronic migraine is even worse because it's very difficult to treat because our brain make the new setting itself already. We are human. We try to find very easiest way to cope with the problem for a long, long time. This is in the MGN E. Physician nicely put the crocodile, co crocodile on the top of the head of the patient. Very clever. Because, you know, the crocodile, co crocodile pressures on the brain, co weather, co temperatures can calm down the vessel that dilate in the migraine. Nowadays, I cannot do study on the crocodile to put on top of the head of the patient because of, it's very really difficult to find the crocodile here. <laughs> so a lot of research has been done chemical study in the laboratory. And we found that when we have got pain, so a lot of the chemical have changed. Some chemical up, some chemical down. So then the easy way, easiest way to cope with the problem is to use the chemical, battle with the chemical. And then why we develop the pill. Taking pill, is it easy? Yes, it's a very, very easy. Because you just open your mouth, swallowing the tablet, the pain's gone. No need to do. No need to avoid the stimuli, isn't it? But this is not the end of the story. Because you do not solve the root of the problem. You just hide the problem behind you. So you can fail with pill. I tell you one story of one lady. Last two years ago, come to see me in the hospital because of she had suffered from migraine for 10 years. At the early stage, he had like one or two headaches a day. And after that, they take, she take pill. And after that, from one pill to two pills, three pills, many, many pills a day. Not just pill, because of when you got pain, you have anxiety, you have depression. Also, they also take the um, anti-anxiolytic drugs, anti-depression, and also the uh, painkillers. And after that, use the pain injection. Every, every day, many injections a day. This is the result, result of overuse medications. Cannot cannot find the normal skin because of the injection scar here. Even if this is the end of the uh, spectrum of the patients, but many patients are following this step. Sadly, this case, I admitted to the hospital, detoxify her in the hospital for one month. But sadly, 50% of the patients here like this Cannot, cannot recover from, from the medication so we use like this. So to tackle with the problem, to solve the problem, we have to give some knowledge to the patients and also to our society that our society uh, have to understand more about our health 
and the connection between ourselves and the environment. Changing environment, changing health, changing people, and you got pain. Tell the, pa tell the patients that pain is not your enemy. Pain is your friend. When you got pain, yeah, you have to know yourself. Something earlier in your body. So then you can concentrate and could avoid to the stimuli. I do not tell you that you have to stop everything, like stop drinking wine, can, cannot. But you cannot stop drinking coffee, but you have to adjust it in balance. When you have like headache, oh, you have to more exercise, reduce a bit of coffee, reduce a bit of wine. You know, in the US, in US, in US, there's a way that most of the migraine, they have attack during the weekend, you know. Friday, Friday night, party, party. In Thailand as well, <laughs> in Thailand as well, the same situation. Secondly, painkillers is not your close friend. And again, I do not tell you that. Stop taking painkillers. But you have to take it with conscious. No more than 10 days a month. This limit, upper limit. And thirdly, we have to use a multidisciplinary approach. Many doctors, patients, society have to, have to help together. This is last, last year, the meeting in Bangkok Hospital. Dr. Wilatikon Wong Waiwanit was a director of this meeting. Goodbye headache. Tell the story how to cope with the problem with themselves. Physical therapist. This is the um, president of Headache Society, Dr. Siopon. This is me. Both got migraine as well. But we have to cope the problem. We know. We tell the patients. Not only the patients, we have to teach the doctor as well. Not for the pill. Not only the pill. I tell you that we have to use the complex system method to cope with the problem. Sometimes acupuncture, Thai massage. Once we stick the needle into the muscle, the muscle will release some chemical to treat itself. So then the chemical is the natural chemical. It doesn't have any harmful to your body. And you don't have any harmful like scar in your body, it's a lot. And also international collaborations is very important as well. We have the Headache Master School in Japan this year, teach other doctors to become master in headache disorders. In Shanghai, chronic migraine, just early of this month, tell the story of our society to all over the world. In Shanghai, the quality of life, I studied the quality of life of the primary headache disorders from migraine, and also to share the experience of how to treat the patient with chronic migraine. And next year, we will be host, Chiang Mai will be host of the fifth Asian region Congress of headache disorders here in Chiang Mai. I would like to end up my talk with this quote. I know that pain is the most important thing in the universe. Greater than survival, greater than love, greater than even than the beauty is being about. For without pain, there can be no pressure. Without sadness, it can be no happiness. Without misery, there can be no beauty. And without this, life is endless and hopeless. Thank you very much.